Nuclear power, do you really want it in your backyard? I don't want it in mine. By Larry Hartwig, Zedmaster at ZeroEnergyDesign.com. In 1905, Albert Einstein published his original theory of relativity, e equals mc square. America used it in a devastating way to end World War II. Enrico Fermi built the first 100 kilowatt nuclear fission power plant in 1951. A 1952 report for President Truman offered a pessimistic assessment of future nuclear power and called for aggressive research in the whole field of solar energy. You can read about it on IEER.org. The first partial nuclear power plant meltdown was in 1955. Like the 1973 oil crisis, we should have paid attention to potential problems. In the 1960s and 70s, corrupt electric power companies promoted their gold medallion Total Electric Home Award. They said that nuclear power would be so cheap that we could all afford to live in extremely inefficient, low-cost electric homes. It was a huge lie that builders supported enthusiastically due to high profits on low-quality construction. It impacted bad builders for decades. President Jimmy Carter was a nuclear submarine engineer. When he took office in 1977, he created the U.S. Department of Energy, which regulates and promotes nuclear energy. In 1979, the partial meltdown at the Three Mile Island power plant raised America's worst fears about nuclear power and had economic and perceptual implications. We stopped building nuclear power plants. The engineers and subcontractors that built 1970s U.S. nuclear power plants are now out of business. Worn out 25-year-old parts are being replaced by younger people who are unfamiliar with the obsolete technology. U.S. regulations prohibit upgrade to modern systems without expensive certification, which profit-motivated operators refuse to do. The probability of a future accident is increasing because of bad regulation, lack of education, and obsolescence. Seven years after Three Mile Island, in 1986, the Ukraine Chernobyl nuclear power plant proved beyond any shadow of a doubt what a simple human error can do. It killed and mutilated multitudes and left one quarter of Belarus permanently uninhabitable. Imagine if that happened in the United States. Was Chernobyl the last nuclear accident in our future? Do you want this in your backyard? How many warnings do we need? Regardless of what industry lobbyists and politicians say, nuclear power is inherently unsafe. Its originators thought it could be made safe. They have irrefutably been proven absolutely wrong. Human errors can be devastating. Or would you rather have complex new nuclear power plants controlled by experimental software from the Bill Gates Bugs Don't Matter generation? Can we afford a beta test or a blue screen of death in a nuclear power plant? The high capital investment and non-renewable fuel are only part of the equation. Radioactive waste disposal pollutes our delicate environment for thousands of years. MIT geologists argue with the Bush Administration, Environmental Protection Agency, Department of Energy, and Nuclear Regulatory Commission that the proposed Yucca Mountain Spent Fuel Repository has two geologic faults and likely future volcanism, which could be devastating to much of America. George Bush has violated his campaign promise and is pushing hazardous Yucca Mountain forward. Iran is the world's number two exporter of oil. The USA CIA helped remove Iran's rightful leader and impose the unpopular bloody Shah of Iran. In trade for oil concessions and Mideastern support, President Carter gave Iran nuclear power plant technology, which is the path toward nuclear weapons of mass destruction. Petroleum addiction has created our worst possible international enemies. The overthrow of the terrible Shah and the Iranian hostage crisis ended Carter's political career. The U.S. Secretary of State, Condoleezza Rice, says the U.S. faces no greater challenge than Iran's nuclear program. 
In response to Bush administration threats and sanctions, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei says, The enemy, the USA, knows well that any invasion would be followed by a comprehensive reaction to the invaders and their interests all over the world. Iran could lose its power over us when the world breaks its addiction to oil. The cover of The Economist asks, Next stop, Iran? In an intentionally alarming speech on October 26, 2007, President George Bush says, Tehran must be stopped, quote, if you're interested in avoiding World War III, end quote. China, Pakistan, North Korea, and India are all willing to sell uranium and plutonium-based nuclear technology to Iran in exchange for their precious oil. The truly ironic thing is that America developed Iranian oil and nuclear knowledge and technology, all because of our short-sighted, deadly, avoidable addiction to oil and complete lack of a coherent energy policy. Nuclear power plants are primary terrorist targets. Distributed solar energy generation cannot be. We desperately need non-petroleum, non-nuclear, clean, safe, free solar and wind technology and to make it readily available to the entire world to avoid the catastrophic problems associated with petroleum and nuclear proliferation. Do you really want nuclear power in your backyard or in anyone else's? To see our alternatives, go to zeroenergydesign.com and PassiveSolarEnergy.info